that her exact well, hello, whereabouts hello. are unknown. I hope this uh, video finds you in time so you also can complete the mischievous and uh, elusive targets. This is for your average Hitman player like I am. I'm no expert at this game. It took me about two hours to find this method in total. Actually, this first part you'll be watching actually only took me about ten minutes. The rest took a little finagling. But as you see, you have to be running this entire time. Just keep on running. This camera does not matter in this objective because the recording station has changed. So you just grab that, kind of slow down a bit, but you put it away, keep on running, because you want to knock out this first person, the, the lady on the cell phone down here, you're going to knock out first. Just hit the keep on running, don't worry, she will not hear you. But this is also assuming you've already played this game once through. So knock her out. You don't have to collect the coin, but I just do for shits and giggles. Because uh, if you already have the deadly syringe, the lethal injection, uh, that you have to put that in the chapel. And also you need to have the, the lock pick for the next section too, because there's a, a door to you have to use it on. So you have to knock out these guards with the pole that you grabbed. Do it standing up or else they'll hear you. Change his uniform and keep on running. This first door you'll open through, you want to close it. For some reason, the guard in the next room beyond that will sometimes see a body if you leave both doors open for some strange reason. So just crawl on through that open window. Oh, well, broken window, whatever. Just keep on climbing up. And keep on continuing forward. The great thing about this is that there's less people in this, ge in this game, so it's very easy to get some guards. So you'll want to unlock this door, hide right there, create ground coin and throw it nearby. And make sure you have the door ready because you'll knock out the door on the guards in this area. So you keep on watching him, he'll come towards the door. Be good gentlemen, open the door for the lovely guard. Close it behind him and knock him out. Once you knock him out, you want to drag him just a little bit beyond the door just to make sure the other guard doesn't see his body when you open the door. Grab the pole and get ready to get behind him and swing. If, if you're a little late, you always can go around and knock him that way to knock out that guard. That will, I think he's a cleaning, uh, janitor, or whatever. So there, see, you just erase all the footage, so it's not right there, it doesn't matter. So you lockpick right there. So there's one guard in there, enforcer, that'll see you, so just be careful. I may have made a little mistake here. I say I did that I should have grabbed the chapel key off the janitor I knocked out. That would have saved me oh. for almost not being caught with him. That almost did. Price this part right here is what took me about 20 minutes to get through is that you have to position this throw just right. Because if you don't, that the guard guarding her will see you and the person, the janitor cleaning lady, she will see you killing Miss Jameson. So you get grab your lethal syringe. She passes you, just stick her and go hide quickly. Target because for some reason well that done, the, the lady client, will the janitor cleaning lady will see you. Well I think not see you, see the body, because of course she's looking that way. But don't worry that you that the janitor lady saw the body Hello. is that for some reason it doesn't count for your seen body, so you will get silent assassin for this um objective. So this is where the problem came in with the objective. Is that I should have grabbed the chapel key, and there's the second objective, the book, done, and run. Head for an exit, and I'll wire the money. And just finished. retrace your steps. So I'll speed this up because it's pretty routine and easy.
And there we have it. We're home scot-free. Sorry for that little cut right there. I had uh, someone walking on me, telling me that I had to uh, go mow the lawn. Got to love that kind of stuff. And there we go. Scot-free. And there you go. That is how you do the Miss Jameson uh, elusive target. And I think it only has five days left, so hopefully you see this in the next five days. If not, I hope you enjoy enjoyed how an average player of Hitman would do this mission and not some expert who could do this probably this <laughs> mission blindfolded and see seven in total and bada bing come on show it show it there we go silent assassin if, even though a body was seen so if you don't have the chapel location for your um drop point to buy the, the syringe Start with the syringe and the lock pick and just pick up some coins. There's two coins in that path when you knock out the girl. There's the token and a coin, so you can use those as distraction. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial for your average Hitman player for the most recent elusive target from the post date. Hope to see you in my next video. If I do in fact make another video, 